Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're down here in Pleasant Hill at Mocan Liquidations with Matt. How you doing, Matt? Doing fine. I said that right, right? Yes. Awesome. Hey, Matt, uh, can you tell the listeners and the viewers a little bit about Mocan Liquidations? Well, Mocan Liquidators has uh, been in business for seven years. We have over 130 consigners. We do a little bit of everything. We have uh, tapes, con candy machines, new merchandise, old merchandise. You name it, we have it. It's amazing. It kind of reminds me of coming back into an old-time general store and looking at all the good stuff. It, it makes it a little nice in here. We have people that look in the window and say, well, not much in there. And then they come in, they go out about three hours later. So <laughs> exactly. It, it makes it kind of tough. Now, uh, being down here in Pleasant Hill, I really like coming down, taking a road trip, a day trip down here to Pleasant Hill. The downtown area is really uh, livened up, and it's, it looks beautiful down here. Yes, it has. We're trying to revitalize downtown, and we've got the bike trail up opened up. We're trying to get the Katy Trail opened up down to Windsor, so we're trying to do a lot of different things downtown. So what got you into the business? We also do T-shirts and hats and things, and we've kind of gone to auctions, and the customers come to us and say, can you find this? Can you see that? Well, we started doing that, and if you start buying pallets, you have extra items. And that's pretty much how we started into the used stuff, and then we got rid of it and started into new merchandise. So now we buy all over the United States brand new merchandise. It, it is incredible. You never know what it's like. One of those things you you never knew you had to have it until you come in. Until you get it. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> and and uh, where exactly are you located here in Pleasant Hill, in We're downtown? One seater, right behind City Hall. If you come down uh, Seven Highway or Fifty Eight Highway, either one. We're right in right in the midst of the downtown. It's a very it's very easy to find uh, once you in your right uh, kind of category uh, over here from Jeff. I'm good, good friends with Jeff Wilson at the gasoline. Uh, the ga- I call it the gasoline station. I don't know exactly what yes, you call it. Pass or now it's Restoration 101. Really good guy. If you need things restored, he does a good job of doing that. Yeah. Uh, now, while you're down, when you're down here, uh, do you do you know? Of a, uh, would you recommend a place to eat while you're down in Pleasant Hill? Roy B's or we're getting ready to open up another restaurant downtown. So anywhere up on seven, anywhere. Anywhere. Mm-hmm. Uh, down. Do you guys have a Facebook page or anything? Uh, no, we don't at this time, but we're working on Dan. Okay. And. Um, uh, one thing uh, we have on our uh, our radio show and our road show, we have a tagline. It's like a Judd Clampett, woo doggies. And uh, we always ask of everyone at the end of our interview if we can get a big woo doggies. Can we get a woo doggies from you? Woo doggy. <laughs> awesome, Matt. Hey, thanks for coming on the Junk in My Trunk Road Show, Matt. Thanks. And, um, um, uh, we really appreciate you being a sponsor of the Junk in My Trunk Road Show and, and, and the moxie that it takes to step out to be a business owner these days. All right. Thanks a lot for having us. And then on your uh, T-shirt, uh, what's the number they can get hold of you there? You can call us here. It takes us both to the R&R buttons or the Mocan liquidators. It's 816-540-4429. Very good. Hey, guys, you've been listening to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show, and we'll be right back. There's no place like home, Home Sweet Home Realty. Since 2003, Home Sweet Home Realty has continued to experience record-breaking numbers year after year, even in the worst housing climate in history. Their secret? Powerful marketing strategies, seven days a week availability, positive attitudes, and a genuine love for the business. Because we're not a national chain, Home Sweet Home Realty offer discount rates to sell and we never charge additional broker, transaction, or administrative fees. We believe you can't get great buyers without great listings, so we pass that savings on to you. Real people, real results. There's no place like home. Home Sweet Home Realty, 816-808-4000. That's 808-4000. Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're over here in Pleasant Hill, downtown Pleasant Hill, with Jan, the owner of Trent. How are you doing, Jan? I'm doing fine, thank you. Thank you for coming on the road show. We really appreciate it. Can you tell the listeners and the viewers a little bit about your store? Well, we started here in Pleasant Hill about eight years ago and started out with home decor, but now I've evolved to um, ladies' apparel, um, some more boutique items, although I do still have the home decor. We have gifts, we have greeting cards, candles, just all kinds of things. You really do. You have a, a really good collection of, of uh, um, it, it reminds you of vintage style, but you also have the modern. Uh, the jewelry is in, in, incredible. I really like the jewelry they have. Yeah. Yeah, I do really well with jewelry. Um, 
people say they really like to come shop jewelry. I do have some vintage jewelry. I have a little bit of a mix of, uh, like you said, vintage and have a few antiques and um, just um, lots of various things. It's, it's a really cool store. Now, um, what made you get into the business? Well, I retired from Honeywell uh, 10 years ago. I spent a year and a half at home and decided that wasn't for me. So I needed something to do. So I opened a shop with two other ladies. And so you're by yourself now. Yeah, I'm by myself now. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I lost my two other ladies somewhere along the line early on. And so now I'm all by myself. But, but that works out okay. <laughs> Well, there's really no store that I can think of over in eastern Jackson County that's as cool as yours as far as a, a true boutique. And this is really, to me, a true boutique. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I try to be. I have a lot of fun. It's my, my little playhouse, I say. And I get my shopping urges out of the way and uh, have a lot of fun and meet a lot of people. Now, do you go to market quite a bit? I do. Uh, when there is a market, and we've had trouble keeping a market in Kansas City, but right. there are uh, markets in Dallas and Las Vegas and uh, various places like that. So I can go to those if I need to. What are you seeing this year uh, with the fall and winter trends? And even more so, what's coming up in spring? Oh, gosh, I haven't looked far enough ahead in, for spring. Uh -huh. The colors are greens and teals and oranges, bright colors. Um, fall we have lots of zigzag patterns lots of animal patterns in the clothes and um just a, a lot of various things really it, it is it is it's is crazy how, how how things even come back <laughs> yes they definitely do come back some vintage things i have in my house are actually back in in new design now so uh yeah they do always come back around well i see a big uh, revitalization uh with the downtown pleasant hill um You've got, uh, it's really totally new, new pavement. Uh, you've got new businesses coming in, new restaurants, uh, even a new coffee bicycle shop. <laughs> yep. Yeah, we are, we're getting ready. The bicycle trail is coming through, the Katy Trail. We're all excited about that. We're trying to get our, uh, our new businesses to come to town. Um, artists, we'd like to see more artists down here. Um, just trying to revitalize the downtown. We've got some new murals going on our buildings that are going to be really nice and hoping to make this a day trip destination. I think so. Now, when you're down uh, over in Pleasant Hill, uh, where would be a good place to go get something to eat? Well, we have Glory Bees downtown. We have a new restaurant coming in. I believe it's going to be called Big Creek Cafe, and it should be in in the next few weeks. So we have those two places. We have an ice cream shop called A Sweet Expression, and uh, and then outside of the downtown area, we have Sam's Place and um, I believe it's called Whitey's Restaurant. So we have a few restaurants in town. I did notice that Whitey's, that's actually my, uh, my wife's grandpa's name. Oh, really? <laughs> it's actually one of my security passwords. Oh. <laughs> I'm bang. It's Whitey. I oh, spelled it wrong. Oh. <laughs> so that's how you spell Whitey. You spell it witty. <laughs> well, it's a good restaurant to go to. I, I think he has pretty good... Um, uh, meals, you know, uh, hamburgers and steaks and things like that. So that's awesome. So now, do you have a Facebook page? I do. Uh, Trends Gift Boutique, okay. and I also have a um, store linked off the Facebook page where you can buy. And I always um, offer free shipping. Okay. So um, it's always easy to find that way. That's awesome. And where exactly is Trends located here in Pleasant Hill downtown? Well, Trends is in the historic downtown area. It's right across the street from the post office, so it's pretty easy to find. Very good. Well, we appreciate you coming on the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. Now, I know you know that we have a tagline on our radio show and our road show. It kind of goes like this. It's woo doggies. Can you give me woo doggies? Yes, I've been practicing. Okay. Woo doggies. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I think you're beating the guys on that one. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Some of them are pretty talkative, so I don't know why they couldn't get that out. <laughs> yeah. Well, you knew a little bit more about it, so yeah, you're, you're okay. prepared. I, was, I had a head start on it. <laughs> exactly. Hey, guys, you've been listening to the Junk in My Trunk Roadshow. Check out trends down here in Pleasant Hill. You'll be glad you did, and we'll be right back. <music> For a great used car. Don't forget to go see Fat Boy Motor Company, located in Independence, Missouri, 300 West 24 Highway, 816-836-8318. Ask for Reggie. Reggie's been in the car business since 1993 and has tons of satisfied customers. You will not be 
disappointed if you go see Fat Boy Motor Company. They're open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. Uh, we're down here in Pleasant Hill with Warren. How you doing, Warren? Hi, all right. Hey, can you tell the listeners and the viewers the, the name of your business and where you're located? It's Recycled Reading in downtown Pleasant Hill, uh, basically at 109 Wyoming Street. So what got you into the book business? It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. That's basically it. Yeah, I've been reading all my life, but yeah. It's a really cool. It's a really cool bookstore. I really like how you have it organized. Um, uh, lots of cool books. Well, thank you. Yeah. And I like the name Recycled Reading. Yeah, that's basically because it's mostly all used books. I do have a couple of new ones, but yeah. Now, do you uh, buy, sell, and trade? Basically, I do trade uh, a little bit, but uh, mostly I just sell books. Right. So, um, what kind of books would you have to offer here? I've got a little bit of everything. The inspirationals, the westerns, you name it. Yeah. And those westerns are getting uh, kind of collectible too, aren't they? Some of them are, uh, especially in the uh, brown leather bound ones. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. It, it makes a, it makes a big difference. Um, I I like the fact of just being able to just grab something physical and be able to read it. Uh, you know, you got you have Kindles and things like that, but there's there's nothing really takes the place of grabbing a book and being able to actually just read a, a regular book. Right. This is true. I mean, even our schools are getting away from having real books. Yeah. So. But yeah, so it's just it's just something interesting to have, you know, almost like an antique. But yeah. Now uh, with downtown Pleasant Hill, uh, great day, place to take a road trip or day trip. Uh, can you tell listeners a little bit about downtown Pleasant Hill? Uh, from what I know, a little bit from down at the museum where I help out down there a couple times. Um, basically, it's been around a long time. Um, the old Pleasant Hill here got started after the war when the train came through and that's how we got new town versus the old town which is up on uh up by uh, route seven up there on top of the hill so this is considered new town like the like one of the the, the first uh thing that was rebuilt after the civil war right correct yes and then a lot of the buildings that are here now are from that period of time yeah that's cool it's like a, it's like a blast from the past uh, what did you what what used to be in this building before this building used to be a Dunn Drug Store since early 1900s, and then after that it was Campbell Drug Store, and it was known as Campbell for for the longest time, I think up until about the 60s or something like that, and then um, it became a couple of different things until now. Yeah. Well, Recycled Reading is where it's at now. <laughs> yeah, this is true. <laughs> and when you're down here um, uh, in, in Pleasant Hill or Newtown, what w- where's a, a good place to go eat, would you recommend? Uh, Gloria Bees would be probably your best bet right down the street uh, on First Avenue. Right. I had an opportunity to go there the other day. Their breakfast was really good, and the service is really good, too. Right, yeah. Gloria, since she took over the building about the same time I came to town, um, has done a really tremendous job of cleaning it up and making it look really nice, yeah. Uh, you guys have events that are going on all the time. You got the car shows that are going on. Um, also, uh, um, the Katy Trails uh, may be coming through here pretty soon. Yeah, the Katy Trail should be coming through, according to Kansas City Star, real soon. But um, that was in this morning's paper. But uh, when it does come through, it'll be the Katy Trail. It'll be the Pleasant Hill Connection, which in bike terms is basically where all the uh, bike trails will come together here in Pleasant Hill. That's that's amazing. Yeah, I know. That's going to be really awesome. <laughs> but even right now, we do get people that, you know, they bring their car and they drive and they park down here and then they unload the car, the bikes and take off from there and then come back. Huh? So you can do that too. Right. You can do that too. Now, how far does it go? Uh, does it go all over? When it's connected, it'll go all the way to St. Louis when it's all done. But uh, wow. it, the first phase, I guess, is going to hook it up to, uh, uh, what is that, Warrensville? Warrensburg? At Warrensburg? Yeah. It goes all the way to Warrensburg. Right. So, That'd be a nice bike ride. Yeah, it'll be a nice little ride, yeah. <laughs> uh, do you guys have a Facebook page? I really don't have much of a Facebook page. No, I don't. Yeah. Okay, no problem. Right. Um, and, uh, again, where exactly are you located down here in downtown Pleasant Hill? Uh, we're at 109 Wyoming Street, which is after the war would have been Wy- the city of Wyoming, but it never materialized because the city of Pleasant Hill annexed all this down here. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, but that's where we're at, right by the railroad tracks, just catty corner uh, from the old uh, train depot. 
Very good. Well, we have a tagline on our radio show and our road show. It's like a Jed Clampett. Woo doggies. Can you give me woo doggies? Woo doggy. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Warren. Right, I appreciate it. Now. Hey, All no right, problem. Yep. Hey, guys, you've been listening to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show, and we'll be right back. The Surplus Exchange, Kansas City's link between industry, charity, and the environment. A must-go-see. By the way, this is Mr. Ed from the Junk of, Junk of My Drunk Road Show. The Surplus Exchange is located at 518 Santa Fe. They're open Tuesday through Saturday from 9 to 5. They have computers, office equipment, furniture, and much, much more. Get down, check them out. They're open 9 to 5, 518 Santa Fe. Go there. Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're over here at Newtown Bicycle and Coffee Shop with Alan, the owner. How you doing, Alan? Hi, good. How are you? Thanks for coming. Hey, no problem. Thanks for coming on our road show. What a cool place you have here in downtown Pleasant Hill. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we're we're happy to be here, um, part of the, the historic downtown Pleasant Hill, uh, helping revitalize the town. and. We're just thrilled to be here. It reminds me of something you see down in Midtown or something down in River Market area. It's awesome. Right. Thank you. Yeah. I have kind of an eclectic taste and um, just like to have things that for people to look at when they come in and um, just a comfortable place to hang out and have good coffee and uh, get your bike fixed or go for a bike ride. So. Right. Putting a coffee shop and a bicycle shop together is a, kind of a unique concept. I've never seen it before. Right, there are some across the country, but it's it's uh, not very common. Um, but uh, there's something about having a good cup of coffee and then going out on a ride, and uh, or coming back from a maybe on a cold day and having a nice cup of, cup of coffee to warm up. So exactly, yeah. Now you have the is the Katy Trails getting ready to come through here again? Right, they're uh, working on bringing the Katy Trail up from Windsor, Missouri. So um, eventually, you'll be able to ride from here to St. Louis and back so so not only do you uh re uh um, have bikes for sale but you do repair repair yeah we're a full repair shop uh we rent bikes and we have accessories and uh, so yeah i think it's really cool and then uh you also uh your coffee is a little bit different uh, than the standard regular coffee right yeah we uh pride ourselves on uh, the precision of our coffee we use uh, mainly Parisi coffee from Kansas City and uh, various other coffees. And um, we also <clears throat> use the pour over method for brewing our, our uh, brewed coffee, which uh, makes sure that you get the full potential of the coffee beans. So. That's awesome. The, uh, and then the, your place, this guy, it's got this feel to it, man. It's like, um, uh, I like the eclectic feel. Uh, you got some bikes up here on the, on the, on the wall. Uh, and just the way you have it decorated, it's, it's, it's a great, it looks great in here. Oh, awesome. I appreciate that. Yeah, like I said, I, I have a kind of eclectic taste, and um, we just like to have interesting things for people to look at. Some kids come in and say, what is that? And they've never seen that before, you right. know, so it's fun. Kind of, to kind of a little blast from the past. Yeah, right. Now, uh, where exactly are you located here in downtown Pleasant Hill? Uh, we're at 115 Wyoming Street in uh, downtown historic Pleasant Hill. And we're right next to the museum, and uh, we have recycled reading next door on the other side. Pretty easy to find. Yeah. Yep. And then what about uh, your Facebook? Uh, it's uh, Newtown Bicycles and Coffee Shop, and um, we've got uh, several followers on there, and we also update on there with uh, discounts and uh let you know about the live music that we have going on here as well so uh, let's talk a little bit about the live music what what nights do you have live music uh thursday nights uh we at seven we have live uh jazz and then an, an open mic and then um occasionally on saturdays we have live music as well and we like to do it outside on the patio if the weather is permitting so that's incredible man i've really uh, uh, uh good job on stepping out it takes a lot of moxie to step out and start your own business well thank you okay. yeah it's been a learning process and it seems like two businesses. Well, it really is two businesses. So, right. it's uh, we're letting it kind of grow organically for the community. So, very good. Um, it's Newtown uh, uh, Bicycle and Coffee Shop. Right. Newtown Bicycle and Coffee Shop. Very good. And we have a tagline on our radio show and our road show. It goes like this: It's a woo doggies. Can you give me woo doggies? Woo doggies. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You did. You did as good as Matt did. Right. Oh, That's right. awesome. No, you did good. Thanks. 
Hey guys, you've been listening to the Junk in My Trunk uh, Road Show, and we'll be right back. Hey, this is Darren with the Junk in My Trunk Radio Show. If you saw our station wagon out and about, it's partly in due because we have great tires that we ride on. We get our tires from Lonnie's Tire. They've been in business since 1962. You can give them a call at 816-254-2477. Whether you're looking for used tires, new tires, you name it. They'll get you back on the road in a hurry. Again, they're located at 1008 East 24 Highway in Independence, Missouri. 816-254-2477. They're open Monday through Sunday. Make sure you tell them that you heard it from the Junk Mafia. And give them a big woo doggies. Y'all come back now, you hear? Hey, welcome back to the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. We're over here at Glory Bees uh, with Gloria. How you doing, Gloria? Good. How are you today? Very good. Thank you for coming on the Junk in My Trunk Road Show. Can you tell the listeners and the viewers a little bit about your place? Well, we've been in business for 15 years. Uh, this location for just two years. We... Um, serve home cooking food um we cater to the families and i'll tell you what i came over and, and had some of your food I've, I've ate her probably about three times and uh, i've had your breakfast love your breakfast we do breakfast all day every day just the way you like it that's our uh, that's our motto and yeah. i had some fried chicken uh, on it for a special yesterday so it was awesome good 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 we do uh, we also have an all you can eat uh, crab legs and catfish every Friday and Saturday nights um, starts at five o'clock and it's all you can eat and we bring it to you well uh, since you moved in uh, to downtown Pleasant Hill I remember this place before you've really kind of gave it a facelift and it, it looks great uh, when you come in put a lot of hours in <laughs> it's hard business <laughs> it's an old building it's been here over a hundred years it's been a restaurant the majority of the time in that hundred years um, yeah and it needed a lot of attention and we've we're giving it to it we have more to to do so it, 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 it's definitely you can tell and um, you have a good staff that's working over here like I said I really enjoy the food but you also have a salad bar you have too as well right fresh salad bar every day yes yeah we uh, we cut our own lettuce nothing's in a bag we cut our own vegetables we get a lot of the vegetables from farmers markets and everything's fresh well, there's a lot of new businesses that are uh, popping up down here. So this is definitely a great place to take a road trip, day trip, uh, and this is a, a g great destination uh, to eat as well. Uh, what exactly is your loc uh, the location, your address up here? Uh, our address is 117 South 1st Street. We're on 1st Street in downtown Pleasant Hill in the Historic District. Now, um, what is your hours of operation? Sunday through Thursday, 6 a.m. to 2 p.m., Friday and Saturday, 6 a.m. to 8 p.m. And then you're closed on Sundays? No. Sunday through oh, su Thursday. Sunday yeah. through Thursday. Okay. Sunday through Thursday, 6 a.m. We're open seven days a week at 6 a.m. Wow. Yeah, no sleep here. <laughs> yes, so. You're a hard worker. <laughs> well, I yeah. I've, seen you, I've seen you in the trenches. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm in there. Now, um, also, you uh, do fresh bakery items, too, I notice. We do. We make our own pies and, and cookies. Um, fresh when needed not every day but fresh and uh yeah everything we do is as fresh as we can get we cook to order we don't cook up ahead of time we cook everything to order that's so cool well guys you got to check out glory bees uh restaurant down here in beautiful pleasant hill uh, missouri now uh, gloria we have a, a tagline on our radio show and our road show and it goes like this it's a jed clampett woo doggies can you give me woo doggies woo doggies <laughs> that is the best one yet I, everyone downtown merchants they gotta they gotta they gotta buck up now <laughs> very good Challenge is on. exactly well thank you for coming on thank you for having me awesome hey guys you've been listening to the junk in my trunk road show and we'll be right back